Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to download, install, and patch Charles. Charles Web Debugging Proxy is uh, also another program used to exploit um, Farmville. So what we're going to do here is download it. Uh, please note that you're also going to need Java Sun, so you can Google it if you don't have it installed, and you're going to need Firefox too. Um, if you install Java Sun, please do not install any additional software that may be bundled with the program, such as uh, McAfee. I've seen that in there. Um, don't install any toolbars. Just make sure that you're installing the Java Sun that uh, coincides to your uh, operating system. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and download Carlitos. I'm going to save the file. I call it Carlitos, but you know, it's Charles. Alright, so it's done. It's clean. Uh, my uh, antivirus did not detect any, any dirtiness. So we're going to close that. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and open the zip file. I'm going to extract the actual uh, folder that's inside the zip file onto my desktop. So I just click and drag. Okay, so I can close my archive. I'm going to open up the Carlitos folder. As you can see here, there's Charles Setup.exe. If you don't see the exe, you can change that settings in your uh, folders options. I always make sure that it shows what the extension is so I know what I'm running. So I'm going to double click on this and install it. I'm going to click next. I'm going to go ahead and click next again. Just default settings. Since I'm using a 64-bit system, this is going to install in my C programs file x86. Um, if you're not using a um, if you're not using a 64-bit system, then it'll just install in the program file. So I'll just go ahead and run it, install it. I'm done. Click Finish. Now what we want to do is open up the patch folder. Okay. Then we're going to go... Let's uh, resize this window here. What we want to do is go to Start, Computer, we're going to look for the default directory where we installed Charles. That's in my local disk here. And it's my program files x86. I'm going to find the folder called Charles. I'm going to look inside a folder called lib. lib. And we are going to extract a file called charles.jar. Okay, and we're going to extract, we're going to move that onto the desktop. And it's going to ask me uh, that I need permission to move it. I'll say yes to continue. Minimize the uh, Charles Lib. I'm going to minimize here if I can. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the patcher bat and the patcher jar from the patch folder. Remember, we're in Carlitos here. So I'm going to take these two files here. And I'm going to drag and drop those also onto my desktop. Now, the first file that I want to uh, run is the the bat file, the patcher. So I'm going to run that. Okay, I shouldn't have got that warning. That's fine. Let's see what happens. Um, let's run the patcher and see what happens. And as you can see here, the patcher came up by Invisible Team. I'm going to browse straight to my desktop. Click here under my desktop. And it's going to find the Charles Jar. I'll double click on that. Let's see if it actually patches. It says that my application has successfully been patched. That's a good thing. Now I can just close this. Okay. I can... Um, close this folder here. I'm going to take those new files. Let me delete this one because that was made from... 
actually no I do need that file now, I'm gonna take all these files here that were moved actually what I need is you know what I'm gonna take them all over there that's fine I'm gonna move them all okay um, I can just uh, drag and drop those Try this again. I need to put these f files that I dragged and dropped and made and everything else. Just watch what I did. I'm going to drag and drop them over here. And it's going to ask me if I want to continue. Select yes. Okay. <clears throat> now that we've done all that, hopefully you were paying attention. I'm going to run Charles. Do not run Charles before anything else. And that's going to tell me, okay, um, my firewall, I'm going to allow it access. And as you can see here, there's a few second delay. All we need to do now is go to help. Register Charles. I can use any name and any serial. So I'll call it Spinal. And a bunch of keys, doesn't matter what you put in there. Thank you for registering Charles. You will now close. Please restart. Yiddy 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 yip. And let's see if I can run Charles again. There is Charles. Now, for some reason, because I uninstalled this and reinstalled it a few times just to make sure that this tutorial went smooth and I was ironing out any wrinkles, uh, we need the plugin for Firefox and if it's not in this folder here I can download it so what I'm gonna do is go back to the the download and there's a Firefox add-on text in here I'm gonna go ahead and install this XPI actually I'm gonna install it on Dragon Ice Dragon to see what happens but this actually needs to go in my Firefox, which I'm sure I know will work. Let me get out of here. Let me see, let me run Firefox real quick. Copy this. We are going to run Firefox and install it. And hopefully, I have the right one. Just uh, paste this URL we just copied here. and this will install Charles um, plugin let's restart this now and see what happens now this is all I know about the program thus far I have yet to do anything else because I installed it real quick to make sure that I could patch it then I uninstalled it so uh, later on we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some tutorials and how to manage some exploits I'm actually gonna try to go ahead and uh, upgrade some of the vehicles they have a lot of vehicles that I can upgrade I'm gonna to try to use one of those exploits and here is the Charles auto configuration let's see what it says I really don't know what it says okay so it's just there and we're gonna find out what it does later so basically uh, all we did today was just install Charles and as you can see here it's picking up all the information of the sites I'm on so if I went to Facebook and logged in to one of my accounts I believe that Charles would actually be picking up the uh, Facebook see now it's already reporting all the information and uh, we're going to take a look at how to actually start using this program. What is this? It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to go ahead and start looking at the program and see if we can go ahead and actually get some of these exploits to work. So that's pretty much it. All right. Hope this helped. Oh, 10 minutes.